13, I got into a home. I was about going to get married. My mom told me. She's scared. My first child was married at the time. Five years, six years into marriage, I had not conceived. And now this is me going into marriage. I was so scared. She brought her fear to me. We got married in May. May had passed. I wasn't pregnant. You know how it is with mothers. They start calling you. And I say, I'm on my prayer. Say, oh. At the time, I had to stop taking my mom's call. My sisters would call her far. My sister was already worried because apparently she was already in marriage for how many years? And no child. One of the days, my pastor called me. I said, I'm only half How are you? How is marriage? I said, fine. Just that. I don't know. I'm not yet taking it. I said, relax. Before my birthday, as better was to be in October, you will conceive. I had a friend, a prayer partner, who will pray. The person who was praying for me wasn't pregnant. At the time, she was already married for four years before I got married. She was not pregnant. She was praying for me. One of the days, she called me and said, Now, Willie, you are pregnant. I said, uh-uh. I don't understand. My period is coming so so and so. I said, You are pregnant. She recognized I was carrying a baby. I didn't recognize it. She was a Rhoda. Acts 12, verse 5. We know the story. Herod wanted to kill Peter. The Bible says that prayers were made up by the church. As Peter knocked at the door of the gates, a girl named Rhoda came to answer. When she recognized Peter's voice, she had not yet opened the gates, but she recognized Peter's voice. Because of the glad of her gladness, she did not open the gates, but ran in and announced that Peter stood before the gates. They were praying for Peter's release, but they did not recognize that Peter has been released. She recognized it. She told me on phone, tell me you are pregnant. I said, ah, my prayer is coming, so I said, okay, I'm waiting, but you are pregnant. You don't need to do a test, you are pregnant, but you can go. I said, don't worry, I'll just wait after my period. You want to open the door to see Peter, to know it's Peter. I want to see the result, to know I'm pregnant. My period date came, and the period did not come. I still had doubts. I called, I said, see, I've not seen my problem. They said that sometimes, when you start having said, there's usually delay. And I remember last month or so, I had a... Uh, one week or five days delay, my prayer said, Aunt Willie, I said, you are pregnant. I'll stop praying that prayer because you are pregnant. Now let's pray for me. Go to the lab. Go and do a test. Do blood tests. And when you are done, I'll be waiting. I've not even finished doing the blood test. I'm not, I, even when I was doing blood tests, I was shaking. You know how it is now. Before they gave me the result, my friend sent me a message. Congratulations, madam. And I got the result. I snapped it. She said, I did not need to see your result. I knew you were pregnant. There are associations, there are roads that you need to have in your community that can speak to you and tell you, hey, your answer is here. They were praying for Peter's release. But Peter was saying, it's me, Peter. He was knocking, he kept on knocking. He continued knocking. Rhoda, what? Recognize his voice. The prayer partners with Rhoda they didn't see that it was Peter. You may not see it, but they will tell you that you have come to your season. This is your season. Stop praying the prayer. Leave that one. Let's pray another prayer. Because that prayer point you are offering has been answered. There is a structure of friends you must have. There are friends you must have. So that you can experience a shift in your life. There are people that know when his hand is upon your life. There are people that can recognize seasons. There are roads that you need to connect to. God, give unto me a divine connection. 